there's perhaps an irony in that Juniata was founded by um, a group of people who are members of, of the Church of the Brethren, which is a, a pacifist and a Baptist church. Um, this doesn't look real pacifist when you watch it. Right after World War II, uh, one of the things that kind of emerged spontaneously was storming of the arch. You have uh, a combination on campus of some folks who've only just turned 18 and a whole lot of people who are who interrupted their college careers to serve. It began with former servicemen keeping a handful of freshmen from passing through their dorm during hazing week. Ostensibly the idea was that many of the women on campus were living in a dorm on the other side of the arch and so they're stopping sort of freshman male students from being able to go visit or meet with female students. Soon, more freshmen tried to pass, figuring they could tip the scales by improving their numbers. Storming the arch quickly became a campus tradition. The men's rugby team took over organizing, and it's since been joined by the women's rugby team. And now it's a massive campus scrum, with the legend being that no freshman has ever made it through the arch. Often when we talk about rituals, there is this liminal or transitional stage that involves a challenge, it involves a task. It involves overcoming certain kinds of burdens. It's also learning about your role within the hierarchy. And some of that can get rough. It has a function of using that experience of overcoming a burden to show that in fact you can achieve your goals very easily and that you should bond with your fellow students as a form of social support in order to move ahead. Defeat the rugby team! It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. The freshmen, known as Stormers, get 10 tries to make it through the arch. The incoming freshmen, the new guys here, have the chance to start over on that side and try to make it to this arch, which is behind me right here. Uh, the arch will be defended by upperclassmen and the rugby teams. You don't have to be Sun Tzu to recognize that there's a real choke point there. It seems unlikely they could ever get through. But this year, several freshmen did make it through. In doing so, they tried a new tactic, and they might have started a new tradition. Uh, I mean, I covered myself in all-purpose loop. Uh, I think that helps. I just hope that by them making it through the arch, they know they can make it through four years of the school. 